So we, uh, uh, they asked my dad if he wanted to bring his family, and we, we went. And, uh, and I got introduced to the guys through that. And my, my life changed that day, for sure. Because I had never heard aggressive music like that before in my life, ever. So it was totally uh, like a mind-blowing experience. And, um, and we got to meet the guys, and they were very cordial, they were very nice. And, um, and so this was OzFest 2001. And uh, we basically stayed friends since then. Because uh, they toured so much that they'd be coming through my area like several times a year. Yes. Um, so yeah, so we got, to, uh, we got to know each other, and they would see me every couple, you know, like a half a year or a year. And uh, I'd be you know, maybe wearing like a little bit more of an underground metal band t-shirt or something. And, uh, and they, said, they saw that I was, I was learning, you know, I was learning about this kind of, this community that we're all a part of, and, and, uh, and I was studying not only slip rock, but that kind of music, you know, getting in all the bands that the band would tour with and all that. So, uh, cut two years later, I'm starting bands, and, you know, joining other people's bands and playing all over the world. And we, uh, the band I was in at the time, we were looking for a manager. And, uh, and we, uh, we spoke to uh, a guy who happened to be Slipknot's manager. And uh, this is in 2012. Uh, and then I, uh, we, we were like, yeah, let's work with this guy. So we, um, we started working with them, and then I, I left that band shortly thereafter and went back to college. But he had remembered me, I guess, from that, from that experience of like coming to see us play, and he knew me from coming to, you know, Slipknot shows over the years. So, uh, late 2013, um, I'm finishing up my last semester of college, my last semester of college doing finals and I get a call from him asking if I'm in a band and I was like well I'm in like 10 bands right now because I'm like touring with or really sticking my teeth into it why I was like well I got something I think you would want to do uh, I think you'd be good at it and um, can you just trust me and get out here like it was looking like three days and so basically, you know, I just kind of flew out to LA blind, and they were like, "All right, there's a, a drum set. We're gonna, you're gonna audition for Slipknot for 20 minutes." And uh, <laughs> I was like, "All right." And uh, yeah, that's kind of how it went. You know, we uh, we jammed on uh, their old material. And then, literally the next day, we started working on what became our last record. Um, so yeah, that's kind of how that all happened. Okay.